हेलो आई एवरी वन होप यू आर कीपिंग वेल दिस इज विशाल मसी योर इकोनॉमिक्स टीचर सो टुडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द माइक्रो एंड मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू विद द हेल्प ऑफ द टी टेबल और द डिफरेंस यूजिंग द फोर ए मेजर डिफरेंसेज और फोर मेजर पॉइंट्स दैट विल डिफरेंशिएट दिस टू थिंग्स और टू ब्रांचेस ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एक्चुअली माइक्रो एंड मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स आर द टू ब्रांचेस ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स डीलिंग विद द डिफरेंट कॉम्पोनेट्स ऑफ द इकोनॉमी सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट इट स्टेट्स दैट इट्स अ अंडर द माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स इट स्टेट्स दैट इट इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स विच डील्स विद द इकोनॉमिक डिसीजंस मेकिंग ऑफ इंडिविजुअल इकोनॉमिक्स एजेंट सच एज प्रोड्यूसर कंज्यूमर एसेट्रा वेयर एज वैन वी टॉक अबाउट द मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स इट इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स विच डील विद द एग्रीगेट्स and averages of the entire economy so let me explain by myself micro economics means when you deal with the individual components like individual demand individual market individual firm individual industry all those components come under the micro economics when we talk about the macro economics it consists entire entire economy or the country as a whole when we talk about the component as a country as a whole or when we reflect it to a entire country for example market economy unemployment poverty because we study it as a country as a whole so all those components come under the macro economics its second point is it takes into account a small component of a whole economy so it takes only a, it is a it has a narrow scope it has a only ta it takes only a small components because it takes ta talks about the individuality whereas when we talk about the macro economics it is a consideration of economy as a country as a whole it talks about the country as a whole all the issues regarding the country we are studying in the macro economics third point it it deals with the process of price determination in the case of individual products and the factors of production so basically what the micro economics it is also called the price theory okay it helps to study the price theory it sets the price by using the demand and supply forces and it helps to set up particular price price in the economy when we talk about the macro economic it deals with the journal price level in the economy because we are studying the aggregate demand and aggregate supply aggregate means sum total so macro economics we are studying the aggregate demand and aggregate supply so it helps to set the journal price level which is helpful in the country as a whole whereas in the micro economics it sets a price only for the limited area or you can say the particular area which it compromises of okay third point is or or fourth point is sorry that is known as price theory so it is called the price theory so basically in the micro economics it is used to set the price whereas it is also known as income theory in the economy so in the macro economics it is called the income theory okay last point which is very important it is concerned with the optimization goals of the individual consumers and the producers so what it is talking about it's saying that it is only concerned with the goals of the individuals okay maybe it may be individual consumer and individual producer so what are the individual goals actually individual so individual goals are the goals of the it can be differ from the in the level of consumers and producer for the consumers it's a maximum satisfaction okay they gain out of consuming a any good or a product whereas when we talk about the producer at the individual they level they want to maximize their profit as much as possible so this comes under the microeconomics when we talk about the macroeconomics it is concerned with the optimization of growth process of the entire economy so it reflect a major issue that is a growth economy okay how we can in increase a growth level how we can increase a gdp how we can increase a employment level how we can reduce the poverty all those issues which is related to the growth process of a country that include is that includes under the macroeconomics so it covers the various big issues than the microeconomics so this was the difference between the two hope you